My name is Tyree Guyton. I am the creator and the founder of the Heidelberg Project, which started uh, back in 1986. My background is fine art. I grew up on Heidelberg Street and saw the need to come back in 1985 uh, to create a art environment, which is called the Heidelberg Project today. Well, the Heidelberg Project is a outdoor art environment that started in 1986. I um, saw the need to share art or to take an area that was broken down and to transform that environment into something very whimsical. What for myself, I think that my inspiration uh, comes from a higher source. And also using art as a medicine, uh, using it, it to create some hope in a broken down area. And so that gives me uh, inspiration to use my talent to transform and to create new possibilities. When I first started the project, I saw the importance of uh, working with kids, and it takes me way back. Uh, when I was a kid, my grandfather gave me a paintbrush at the age of nine. And um, so, yeah, kids play a big part in uh, the Heidelberg Project, uh, using art as a way to educate. And so, yeah, Jeannie Whitfield, um, uh, for the last six years, she's been having a Heidelberg summer camp working with kids from, started off locally and then it grew and so now we get kids from all over the world. Well, here at Marshall Frederick uh, Museum, uh, there's a 20 year retrospect. Uh, there are pieces from the Heidelberg project and there are also some pieces from my private collection. Uh, the Car Hood, uh, that body of work is entitled uh, Faces in the Hood, Face of God. It's uh, faces that are painted on car hoods. I uh, found myself playing with religion and trying to understand this entity that we call God. And so I came up with this uh, theme about 15 years ago, painting these images on car hoods. Well, the polka dot, um, <laughs> I'm gonna be leaving uh, hopefully next month to go to Sydney and I'm gonna be working with the Aborigines in, um, in the Outback and I've been there three times. Um, and if you know anything about the, uh, the Aborigines, their artwork, uh, number one, it's very colorful and they work with a lot of circles and dots. And what I heard on uh, my first uh, time going over, uh, talking with some of the Aborigines about their artwork, the circle to them stands for life. And what they said is life itself is a circle. And if you look at life, there's nothing new here round and around it goes and how life repeats itself over and over never stopping the universe rotating in space and I see life the same way so it's a great connection it's a great metaphor and then also the dots um, for me it's a reflection of, of people and using the dot uh, connecting the dots connecting people it's part of what I do and that's why I work with a lot of dots very colorful that, and then the shoes. I see life as a journey. And um, when I first started the Hyderabad Project, I remember a group of homeless people came and they wanted me to talk about their plight and I took some shoes and I covered the whole street with shoes. It was over 6,000 pairs of shoes. And um, it gave me a chance to talk about the homeless problem here in this country but also I saw the importance of having city and having government to realize that we are all in this together. And so um, the shoes, the journey, 
and then ask that question, where are we really going in life? My favorite piece in this exhibition, uh, if you look behind, you'll see some flag pieces, and I've been playing with that symbol for uh, a few years, uh, taking the American flag and, and playing with it, uh, talking about uh, current issues and using the symbol. So that would be one of my favorite, favorite pieces. Well, the American flag, once again, it's a symbol. It's a symbol that is very powerful, and uh, I find myself as an artist. I was told in art school that my job is to take um, um, something or to and, and and to examine it and to investigate and to take it to another level. And so, in this case here, taking an American flag and exaggerating it somewhat and having some fun with it. But at the same time, using that to talk about what's happening in the world today. And so um, I, I, I have gotten in trouble uh, from using that symbol. But I think that trouble is good because it makes people think. And, uh, and I'm having a great time making people think using this symbol. Uh, the photograph that you see, which are Bill Sanders photograph, that's part of this exhibition, um, Bill Sanders is a photographer that came, and I met him many, many years ago, who documented the, the first phase of the project. And uh, if you don't need the name of the Heidelberg Project, back in 1991, the city demolished part of it, and then again in 1999. So Bill Sanders thought it would be great to have some documentation of those houses that was once part of the project. And that's what you see that's part of this exhibition. There's one house. Um, which is called the, uh, the Penny House, uh, uh, the house that makes sense. And that's a project that we are also working with the University of Michigan and also uh, the UOD Mercy. Both institutions are part of that uh, uh, project. And uh, so I'm excited about it, uh, taking pennies and covering a house with pennies. Uh, the house that makes sense. So how do you take something that was once broken down and make sense out of it? And so that's one of the houses. And then we have another one, the house of words. I think words are very powerful. You know, if you say it, and if you say it long enough, or if you say it enough, you begin to see it. And so uh, the house of words. So we are gonna hopefully this year develop both of those houses. You know, to answer that question, it has been a lot of controversy. Um, that has centered around the Heidelberg project. So I've heard a lot of things about the art. And um, I believe that the true power of art is having people to voice their opinion about it. But I think that all of that is needed, where you have people who love what you do and you have people who hate it. So that's part of the magic. Well, you know what, uh, first criticism, after 21 years, uh, myself, I'm at a point now that uh, I understand. A lot of times people don't know, and so when they don't understand, they say things or they, uh, or they criticize. My job is to educate people. But I will say that uh, you can also learn from criticism. Well, you know, speaking of social issues, I think that we live in a world today where a couple of things. I don't think people really know how to see. I don't think people really know how to listen. And so the Heidelberg Project, if you were to come to, to visit, it's very colorful. And it's very colorful for a reason, because I see the importance of helping people to see and to see the beauty that's right in front of us. Secondly, if you, if you were to come to visit, you would also hear music. And I play the music for a, a reason, because I want people not only to see this very radical project, but I want them to hear it. One thing that I could think of that I would like to leave with people that would make them think, what would I say? I would say to them, any and everything is possible, and I've proven it, because I've taken something that was once an eyesore, and I've made it very beautiful. Come and see it. Thank you.